Welcome to Extreme Signpost. Kaiten sushi that is popular in Japan and Europe is served in a unique style. It comes on a conveyor belt. The semi-automatic process allows the restaurants to offer the sushi at a reduced price. Customers help themselves to item on the conveyor belt and are charged by the plate. A potential problem to the kaiten method is maintaining fresh samples on the circulating line. Human interaction by the service staff is required to remove outdated product. In order to provide fresh, high-quality sushi, a company up in Seattle has come up with a unique RFID solution. Ultra-high-frequency UHF RFID tags are embedded in each plate. The chef writes the name of the sample and time on the stacks of plates using an electronic system that is embedded in the countertop. RFID readers that are distributed along the conveyor belt provide real-time information that is collected and processed by an electronic database. Interactions between the tag sushi plate, readers, and computer system provides information to the service staff to update the circulating product. The high-tech solution is seamless and almost invisible to the customer. While in Seattle, we bought some Tobiko and Sakai salmon sushi to go, and this is the story it has to tell. I can see that's, that's, that's the reading. When you, yeah. Okay, so that's every every cycle, how many you can count? Yeah, that's you know, nice. Yeah. Basically, so with this guy, right? yeah. the reading with the tag that is on you. Oh, yeah, wow. So it, it has, this, this one has got a range of about a, a meter, one meter. Uh -huh. okay, oh, yeah, I see it. You see the yellow light is actually reading your tag, and that's the one that's reading. So wow. we are wearing the tag now. Yeah. And this is very good for actually point of. Okay, this is the smallest reader in the world right now. Right. Yeah, and we deliver the DLLs. There you go. Yeah. Just like that. So it's just like a normal okay. convention. Sure, no. Cool. Green light left. Yeah, I just thought we were high. Okay, and then we go over here. I'll zoom up to it. All right. And you said this is Lex Lexmark. Yeah, well, this is something we worked with Lexmark. Okay. And then can you put the... Yeah, yeah. Actually, if you the check out, Cool. Yeah, on that side, okay. Great. So a little bit about Kakata. We're uh, focused on what we call business operations solutions. And it takes a plate off. Mm -hmm. And based on the color of the plate, that's how much they pay. So let's say a blue plate's $4, and orange plate's $3, and so forth. So at the end of the meal, the wait staff walks up and says, OK, you've got one blue plate, one orange plate, $7. And so as food sits out there, you have to worry about how long has each plate been out there. You don't want people eating six-hour-old sushi. Not good for them, not good for the company. It, what we did is we used RFID to track how long each of the items had been on the belt by, by placing an RFID tag on the bottom of each plate. But we'd like to take the, sh the human error out of it. But again, we're working in a restaurant environment, and, and uh, while the robotics and technology behind it are fairly simple, explaining that to a customer who just saw something jump off the belt <laughs> isn't. Okay? So we need to find ways to do this elegantly. So 
we walked them through the system, and within 15 minutes they recognized that it was probably the most effective way to ensure that the customers had the freshest possible ingredients on the boat. 